Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for attending this webinar. I want to first acknowledge the uh, work that Dennis Parmelee did last two days, holding on the fourth. As you know, Tomas is down in Puerto Rico. And I think somebody over there had too much rum, not Thomas. And that led to some uh, transformers blowing up and the shutdown part of the island. Uh, but it looks like they got to his uh, area this afternoon as we speak, and we expect him to be back. During this period, Nancy, CRMAC, and especially Dennis, held down the fort. Dennis is good with his uh, levels and numbers for years and years. I've known him. I think we first talked in uh, 2009. On Twitter, and uh, we, we stay in touch until, especially when I moved down here to Florida. And he, he's helping out, and it has been great. I, I don't know, it's like, thank you. Admiral Tico said, let's take him out for lunch. You know, Admiral Tico is a tight one. He doesn't spend that mu much money at all. For him to say that, 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 that should give you a scale on uh, how impressed he was. Okay. And you know, a, a fleet admiral doesn't get impressed by anybody. So I was very pleased. Uh, Hashem, welcome. Welcome, sir. Okay, let's get started. As always, we go to Econ Calendar. Uh, and then we're going to talk about charts. We're going to talk about why Admiral Tico decided to go flat on uh, PMT. Oh, one more thing. PMT prices are going to go up by about 17% come Sunday. Why? We have not had price raise in, I think, four or five years. And have you looked at your grocery bills recently? Have you looked at the gas? Have you looked at all that stuff? Remember, we got torpedoed by this thing called uh, supply chain. And until that out, works out, we're going to have an upward pressure on cost. Inflation has slowed, but you don't go from nine to zero. Never happens. As long as it stays up, it's like a CI. As long as it stays up, it's still adding, just at a lower pace. So unfortunately, we have to pass that on. But look what we have made, what our performance is. Look at all of those. The, 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 it's fully justified and pays for itself instantly. We're only charging like 120 bucks a month. It's nothing. And we're not, we're not tied to what size you're trading. See what I'm saying? So it pays for itself real quick. Yeah, but Dennis, I want to be very cautioning you. We should err on the side of uh, conservative side. You don't expect him to take us to true locks. Or Ocean Prime. Yeah, he doesn't do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he went there one time. He saw the bill. He was very run out. I said, no, no, no. You got the credit cards. You're paying. Yeah, he's done that. So, yeah. So, it is his, it, Tico is being Tico. That's it. Yeah, see you at Converse. Exactly. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, see you at Converse. Yeah. yeah. But you get extra cheese. Don't forget. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're just joking here. A little bit tired. Hours have been too much. And last housekeeping item, uh, aside from PMT, we're dropping, we, we're dropping, okay, the initial uh, uh, monthly fee on uh, uh, on the, uh, on ES charts. So it, we're going to this shortly, which is one price at 499. We dropped it from 707. We, well, we and we separate the chat rooms. If it wasn't for Larry Nancy, we need the link here for the detail of the page, Nancy. Okay. We, uh, I think I said yes, that I said no. I think we did it because it's going to be part of drop down menu. If we go there, you could see this thing expanding shortly. So it'll be ES, NQ, and combo plus the, uh, the then those with the system, which is ORB. So it's going to be expansion of our products. Price have come down. You only, it's like a Liberty Mutual uh, uh, advertisement. You pay for what you need. And people have loved that. People have loved that. But I didn't realize, and they didn't either. This is what the work Nancy and Larry had to do for me to sit and test and report back what I see unusual. That took a long time. Uh, but, you know, here's our current performance chart. Last two days have been no trades because of uh, 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 Thomas not being here. And we don't want to uh, uh, pollute his trades. So, But we've given some ideas in the room. I use actually Tiger Shark today. Uh, and also, of course, Dennis has been great with his levels, as always he has been. Anyhow, so this will you get a last call comment today. And we also want to show you something else. During this period, SP went up seven percent. Are you with me? During this period with seven percent, 
if you go here, look what we have done. Uh, this this is the percentage we've made. Seven percent versus eleven fifty-three. Trades are verified by Xiomac as individual members report to the extent they're available at a time. So every the three, four minimum. We did have thirty seconds of the order. Otherwise, there's somebody reporting two hours later because they were in a the meeting. That is is uh, stupid and it's not going to help. Plus, with the trade numbers, uh, if we scratch, there's a new trade goes out. Not a scratch. I'm saying, yeah, well, yeah, we go to a new number. Yeah. And you see everything uh, right here. This is how it's built. Here's what we're showing there, too. Uh, and we've only traded at 59 days. There were three days he didn't trade, and we marked them. Yeah. And uh, it's reports to that. So that, that'll go to a single price, no upfront, uh, uh, free trial, or not free, but a cheap trial, or no, no price of 177. Uh, you, we said at seven. One two seventy seven, one seventy two. That's what three months we said. We offer that. Of course, we have a lot of people still from seven dollars. That's just why. And they went to four ninety five, and then seven oh seven. When we introduced this uh, change, we rebated them back to four ninety nine. That's our official price going forward. So if you want to get in, you need to do it before Saturday night. I don't know why you wouldn't, unless you're not a trader. You can't be from a machine and trade. Uh, yes. Because here's the issue again. Uh, hold on, let me go back. You want seven percent or you want eleven fifty three percent? This creates babies. Okay, this creates babies, and uh, uh, his job is to. Uh, oh, he did. I don't see a change here. Uh, it's down only two handles. Hold on, thanks, Nancy. Um, uh, it's uh, uh, so. That 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 goes into effect. We'll probably remind a few hours to go, but we want to get the last call out now. Why? You know, I do PSA, I do uh, reminder, then we do last call, we close it. But it's, a hol- it's the last weekend of the summer. We we're going to be away, so when we get every and I know a lot of people signed up last time to a last minute. Uh, we're going to comply that if somebody's a little bit over time, we're not going to bitch. We're not the type. We just want to make sure people. Make a difference in their lives. Or something simple. Because le- the, the, the learning and the uh, 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 experience that t- Thomas had may not be great, but he's really proved very well. He's a good trader. He was one of my own students uh, in the OTF for a couple of years. And then uh, he took a year off, and uh, or maybe a year and a half off, and now he's back. Yeah. We stay in touch. We stay in touch, and he's back. Go and enjoy that. So uh, we're not doing anything to Orb, Orb stays. Nothing to uh, happy, but we've got a lot of people this past month signing up. We gave them a short, uh, you know, uh, 30 days, 60 days, depending on how much they've been with us, uh, what kind of, what's the pay rates we've had with them. We do not, uh, we do not, uh, yeah, we do not uh, go after uh, uh, free trial junkies. There are people who just sign up for free trials, not interested. We usually look at three. More than that, there's no more. We let them know politely. Hey, you're just kicking tires. Uh, this is a website with high integrity, uh, uh, very clever coding of uh, indicators, very high performance, as you can see when you go to even uh, here, market timing, this product. This is fresh up, total transparency. He went flat. And we're going to discuss why he went flat with charts. Uh, to see his thinking, and here's our ranking over the years. So, three, five, eight, and ten. Unfortunately, that was the last issue. It was issue 707. I would say 703, I believe, yeah. And they haven't published again. But we did, yeah, here's, here's a couple of issues before that. This is a, no, this is about six months before that. Yeah, 2021, January 20th, inauguration day, they announced the ranking, gave us this. But, they also said, no mass, no more. Okay, fine. But this is one of the ones that I was top on all three. You can see our ratios between other people. I mean, you know, my, my attitude is uh, not air superiority. I'm not flying F-15s. I fly F-23s. Why F-23? The one that uh, Clinton messed up and bought F-22 for with all his problems. I bought F-23. I was in the preliminary bit team. 
The mission of that aircraft is air dominance. We're not there to just win. We're there to destroy the other side completely. That we did that. And so uh, if you want to be on that ride, you're welcome to. Remember, this is cash on cash. When you put the pro on, you have to remember there's a pro. Uh, when you put the pro on, which is you're putting a huge booster underneath it, the pro, with the option trade. This cash on cash return, if you look at it this way, becomes phenomenal. Obviously, both up and down are going to be bigger. But if we have maintained this ratio, you could see where we could be. Massive, yeah. And we, we can auto trade it. On the PD, on the, uh, P, uh, I mean, I don't know why people just get the basic, but we offer it. Some of them are like Wells Fargo, uh, Advisors, uh, Merrill in the Sacramento. Uh, there, there are different places that they use different setups. Uh, Morgan Stanley in Dallas, they can only do cash. So they just buy massive amount of SPY and based on the orders I get out. As a matter of fact, one of the questions today was, can you tell me what it does? I said, come to a webinar. Better than that. Hey, Jeff, how are you, sir? Welcome. So, uh, and we haven't changed any of our prices. Hey, if existing people, nothing happens to you. Because we are not changing the price. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we're not changing the product. The only time we have changed price on some people is when we like double the product. We did NQ, now we're doing EF. That's a different product. So we, ha we need to request more to be able to pay for what we have done. <coughs> <laughs> and including, excuse me, I have a very bad deep <coughs> cough. Uh, so that, you know, pays for our capex, pays for a uh, little bit of our overhead, but mainly, well, it's mainly software. The biggest problem I have with inflation right now is software cost. We used to, Nancy would attest to that. We used to pay, I don't know, 30 bu 300 bucks a year for our email server that is runs inside of our machine on not on our virtual machine on the uh on the microsoft cloud now this is like as recent as probably 2021 i just refreshed it and it's been coming up okay it's not one jump yeah, it's been a steady uh uh, uh 30 40 degree ramp i just refreshed it in july 1200 dollars from 300 to 1200 in Three years, four years, yeah, it's just too much. But part of that is because human cost, your labor cost. And that that in better than that coming to work, insurance, da da da. So everything is getting more expensive. We don't we just add a little bit to it because we have volume. We obviously have a lot of volume, especially something like this. This was more this is more a uh, more popular product. Plus we auto trade it. Through PTI, you can auto trade it. Somebody asked me how do I find it? I think if you go to other pro the option side you'll see uh there should be something here uh, we used to where is it huh i thought we had a sign up there uh that's that's all that's 23. uh there should be a link here for pti if that will give it to you you go there and you set up on pti the money's kept with uh um uh, it's kept with uh, interactive. Cash is actually with Chase, Chase Master Bank. There should be a link here. Okay. And they'll call, they'll email us to, um, uh, 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 we'll, we'll send us uh, in, into, we got you, uh, we, we'll say, yes, yeah, you're good to go. And then the, you take the next trade. You cannot jump into existing trade. Why? They can't enter at that price. So anyhow, you can take a look at it. Nancy, we used to have it here, PTR. Anyhow, where is it? I think when you land in, I think when you log in, you go there. I don't know. So you have to be past the paywall. But anyhow, that's where it is. Well, uh, let me see. Go there. I think we did. I thought we did. I don't know. But it's PTI. PTI Securities. And uh, there, were, there were Professional Traders Institute was. PTI Securities. Uh, and they're part of... Uh, I'm sorry to go here, but I want to cover this because it keeps on coming on. I, I've lost the sense of doing one-on-ones. It's just too much work is coming to. PTI Securities, isn't that right? It's not responding. Why? I don't know. Anyhow, it's in there. There we go. 
There you go. Is that right? That, that's it. That's it. That's it. Actually, Daniel, that's the president. And that's Larry. This is the guy who executes for us, Larry Parkhill. That's Dan Howe, the president. And his brother is a smart guy. Yeah. I, I want him to watch this video. <laughs> his brother is actually uh, Tom Howe, who was a student of Marlon Schultz. He understands black shows better than most people I know. I work for the people who fit not work. I studied under people who finish black show. Okay. But his brother, Tom, actually, uh, he's on the radio program in the morning. He's a and jocks. He's the main host. He is studied under Martin Schultz at, uh, at Booth, which is the number one driver school in the country. Uh, this MBA at uh, U of Chicago. Anyhow, good crowd, a small setup. They haven't changed anything. They're still the same place on, uh, I forgot the name. It's, uh, well, the, it's at the edge of the loop, okay? Edge of the loop in uh, down uh, in in, uh, in, uh, uh, in downtown area, yeah. Next to you can down work down to Sibo. Uh, uh, most of the people came from Sibo direct. Okay, uh, most. Oh, uh, I see it. Yeah, Nvidia got killed seven percent now. Gotcha. So, thank you. But their professional, their job, the key, two key men. There are always two people at the desk. They get the email, they execute. They cannot do any decisions themselves. I don't say no field, there's an error, whatever. But once they're in, their art is also either predetermined. Again, you go there, we're giving these targets. Whether you play, this is the cash part, which those who are doing cash, like the Wells Fargo and so forth. These are the targets. We're coming at the current price. Then, don't come in, trades are bad, or I mean, they're late, stale. And one of the two stop, one of the targets. Excuse me, is it downside or upside? Yes, you're done. You're out. Well, this is the option side. If you do a PMT, you won't see this. It's got code in there that shows this later to you. And this is a trade. But this tells you a trade, what a trade is. A few minutes before you go in, you get it set up. As you know, it's an option. You have to set it up. You can't just say, I want to buy. You got to tell them what, what the expression da, da, da. And then Admiral Tico sends two emails out. Uh, let me see if we can, can show that as a part of this video again. I'm sorry. It seems like every once in a while I need to go there. And here is Admiral Tico. Oh, boom, 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 boom. There it is, Admiral Tico. And, for example, here's a setup email. And that's the picture, okay? It's telling you what to do. Go there, look at what the trade is, 386. Which is, that's 812, right? Go there, 386. Oh, that should be 387. This is correct, 287, okay? And it says, uh, the, the levels there, there's a chart there, obviously. This is the levels we're looking at. Here's a chart. And uh, we posted one time at the entry. Yeah, that, so you know what these targets are going to be. Why? These are hourly charts on a weekly SPR. Support, pivot, and resistance. Once the first tick comes, because this was an early launch on the Monday morning, those levels are set, and as you can see, they're flat for balance of the week. It, it looks at this structure, projects for next week. This is from floor traders, and works like a charm. Look at, look at, look at the test there. Look at the support there, finally. It came back. Try to test this, came back up and went up. You could see where the, the gap down started. It's just amazing. Look at this, where the cover was. This is a, just the fifth. This is where everything went crazy. This is where Tico stopped buying. Yeah. So you get that, and then you get, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, and you get the order, uh, uh, and you get this. Then then you have the setup of the what the pro is. This is the basic. Let's go back. So you get this picture. And there's a picture to authenticate. That's from Admiral Tico, so that somebody cannot trick you they have done that believe me so then it says what do not trade do not enter this trade until you get my launch command remember it's admiral it's very forceful boom here's got the launch command and it gives it, we have two different and there's a different picture this is his princeton jacket uh and what he's trying to say is execute execute i remember a fellow wrote to me what does this execute execute mean i said that's a navy term that means you fire the missile. The, when the command gives you execute, execute, you can enter. Not before that. Now, why? Things have not lined up properly yet. You know, when we start something, you have 
orders are going all over the place in the option place. We're going through the option chain. We're waiting for the right uh, 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 lineup. We're also looking at our future, uh, you know, our sophisticated, you know, uh, sophisticated like a, a Tiger Shark, OTF. When we get a feel that the next few minutes are the best time to get in, you got to get this email. It updates it and tells you most likely it's going to get in as a spread. Remember, said you long, you longer call and shorter call. Same thing on the put side. If you're negative in our bias, we're longer put and shorter put. Do not trade one side. I've had people come to me and say, "Oh, I just took the long side." Why? Oh, because I was bullish. Who said for you to be bullish? This is a monkey game. You're supposed to be a monkey. Press the button. Otherwise, you bought it. It's yours. If it's my trade, you're a monkey. If it's your trade, then I'm the monkey. <laughs> Think of it this way. I mean, then, then you own it. You better own it. People who don't own their trade, they'll never make it long term. Yeah, at the beginning, they get a little lucky. They get a couple of breaks. But you've got to own your trade. So so if we give you a trade, trade ours. If not, trade your own. Don't mix the two. Don't be a Dave Mankoff. Well, he's probably going to listen to this. I'm just saying that. Mankoff changed every single trade we sent him. We asked him at one point to leave, just not for him. Too much headache. We're not interested in headache. Yeah, I, we do very well. We don't, need, we don't need help. What we don't want is uh, too much of our time being wasted over the superficial stuff. When, when Tico gives you an order, either you execute it or you're out of the, 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 the group he's in. That's it. Anyhow, we don't do this. Now, you have about half an hour to get in. After that, we're getting in. So there's a time stamp. Look at your time stamp, half an hour to get in. So those are two emails you get. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me go back. Then there's a, then the basic folks. Just get this. Okay, this is a cash only. They're not trading option. So there's no discussion of option. It just says, here's where you are, execute, execute. Why is the, where is the, how come the bias is in here? So you can't forward to anybody else. Bias is a website. Uh, we weren't born yesterday. So, hey, Sylvian, how are you? Welcome. Or is, am I saying by a Slavian? Okay, welcome. So that's how the three items we get. Now, uh, we do have a chart. The chart is computed. It's a big uh, Excel sheet. Uh, there we go. And some people said, I'd like a copy of that. No. Go to Trace. Go to, what do you call it? Go to tra- Time and Digest. Get it from them. We don't know what you're going to do with this. Over there, they can confirm the trades. And you can see this is developed goes back to hold on, hold on, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. Goes back to when we started. November 14, 2014. So and then there's a lot of statistics. You could see we have trade 181 trades, two two one eight as of when we went flat. Remember, this only shows when we are we're engaged. We're not engaged doesn't count. And twelve and a half, twelve and a quarter per trade and that's we've added here too. We'll give you what the position is, as of when, and what date. And this is the final uh, uh, spread between what Tico said you should do and what, if you bought and hold, what we call buy and hope. It used to be buy and hold, we call it buy and hope. Um, yeah, if you have buy and hope, that's your SPX. So if some, at one point, this was 120%. Post-pandemic, we, have, we had killed it. Obviously, uh, we did okay. We made some mistakes, a little bit here. The biggest problem was here. Why? I was launching TCM. My big, big investor with a Golf Stream 650 showed up. When anybody get, come shows up with a Golf Stream 650, it gets my attention. Uh, unless, they're, unless they're a cute blonde, and he's not yet. So he's got to show up with a Golf Stream. Yeah, exactly. So anyhow, I missed here. This part, this part, this is the only thing I regret because if this wasn't there, we were probably here and we had to open up another level. But if you look at it, this 14 years, we got to 230 almost. At least 220, you see that. Okay, let me do this. 220, not bad. Well, well SP was around 170, therefore, that is a 34%, 36% difference. Say 37. Okay, hope that clears things there. Anything we want to do? No. So, if you want to come in, come in. We're going to remind you uh, by Sunday evening. No. Why don't we extend that? We'll go to Monday night, Labor Day. You know why? 
we have two, we have same thing going on with the other package. Uh, that well, that was pre planned for a while back. This was a this was to do with why we haven't touched the price and the inflation. So yeah, we'll we'll, we'll stretch this a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go to our oh calendar calendar. Let's go to calendar. I'm a little bit tired. I apologize. It has to do with the uh, separation of the rooms with it. Calendar, calendar. Where's my calendar? Okay, hold on. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Econ calendar. Okay. Let's see what we went through. We had durable goods that were, that came fairly strong. So much for the. I, I believe they're not going to touch interest rates. Let me let me back off and say add more Tico things. They may talk it. So have others do it, but I don't think the Fed is going to do anything. Or, or at most quarter, at most quarter, my doubt it. The economy is strong, whether you like it or not. Some other, it has nothing to do with politics. The data is strong. Now, a couple of locals have had some issues. But look at this. Even this is, it beat the expectation. This is Dallas Fed. And there's, there's, there's a local areas, right? You have uh, Philadelphia, you have New York Empire, you got Dallas. If you look at them, you'll see the data is coming better. This is consumer confidence, 103. Spend, baby, spend. This is not good, but they're doing it. So it's driving the economy. Here's Richmond Fed. Now, this is dipped down from uh, 70 to 19. But if you got a percentage drop, it's nothing. Very small. But you can't have all all sellers go up crazy. Yeah, uh, now, Case Schiller, uh, it's coming in line. It's coming in line. I do believe real estate will adjust a little bit, but not much. It's already been adjusting for a year and a half for crying out loud. Uh, never looked at this one. Uh, let's go here. No, no, no. Nothing today of any interest. Obviously, the only big thing was NVIDIA. NVIDIA is down 5%. It traded 118. Hallelujah. We're going to go test 118 tomorrow, guys. You think big gun, big guns are going to get in at these prices? No. Remember, Admiral Tico is looking for 82. 80, 82 now. Why? I don't know. Ask him. He's Admiral Tico. I'm not. So, I'm just his chauffeur. Uh, maybe he said something to Nancy or Nancy learned some. He learned something from Nancy, but that's his number. GDP. That's tomorrow. That's going to be a big number. We're going to watch. If we stay on these levels. No surprises. Steady she goes. I don't. I don't get it. You know. I think people are hoping to get rates uh, down, but hope is not what you can plan on trade on. Personal income, super serious. The PC is what the Fed always looks at, at least from uh, since they uh, got a green span and they brought some brain to operation called Bernanke and so forth. Uh, green span was good, but he never said what he meant. And he had his own gibberish, so you never knew what he meant. So I got to grade him. But Bernanke on, this is what they look at, and we may pay attention to it ourselves. So that's on Friday. Consumer sentiment is simple. Let's take a look at this. See what's available. Six, this is sentiment, not uh, confidence. This is from uh, U of Michigan. 60, some people can get it early, by the way. Be catch one, you pay fee, you can get it early, like five minutes early. 60, which is not fair, but they do that. There you go. 67% area. So, and I think what's now being a little bit more looked at than normal was the year ahead inflation expectation. I'm not sure how scientific that is, but uh, it's probably correct. Maybe on a little bit on the downside. I do believe we have more than 3% inflation myself. So. And that's why the Fed is not willing to. Fed is. Under pressure, is going to say something, but they won't bow to anything. The president coming in and say, I want to fix the interest rate. They're going to tell him, go and F yourself. They have a mandate. And I don't want I don't want politics to get into uh, monetary policy anyway. Look, you want to do your homework? Fix the uh, fiscal policy. One of them you got to stay away. Yeah, one, which is uh, monetary policy under the Fed. That's what we call the temple in you know, the office. The building is called the Temple in, in Washington. I had a couple of classmates worked there, oh, by the like three or four years, and then they got burnt out and left. Yeah, this was all the top guys in econ. They just they were burnt out. Yeah, there's a lot of work. 
Okay, that's our charts. The following week, as you know, doesn't show up on that uh, page, but I, I, you know, you could do this. But we start beginning to advertise. You can get their annual report of the calendar. So we're coming in. This is the last month. So Monday is Labor Day. We're closed. Uh, ISM on Tuesday. I'm reading it to you. Uh, ISM on Tuesday. One second. I'm sorry. Trade goods and services, factory orders, and jolts on Wednesday the 4th, which would be, we'll send you an email that day. The next meeting we have here in November would be 11th, the following month. You have ADP on the 5th, and the 6th you're going to have non-farm. There's a short week, that's why. Okay, we have part of a couple of ISM services. Then nothing until next Wednesday that we meet here, the following Wednesday, 11th. That September 11th. That is the CPI. That's big. 12 PPI. Big. Yeah. That, two big names there. Uh, jobless claims. And import, export, and consumer sentiment again. Why are we having sentiment so fast? That's the 13. Okay. So that's what calendar is. Let's go to charts, please. It's already quarter of, uh, uh, quarter of five. I, I, I apologize. I was long-winded. There's a lot going on. I hope by now you realize what Admiral Tika was up to. Let's uh, blow up this up a little bit. Okay, if you look at it, that's his all-time high. We got close, and he says, that's good for me. Why? Odds. We have maybe 2 3 5% up, and a lot to drop underneath. Why? We, we could have any problems now. You know, the... the, the Prices are a lot up on houses, uh, pretty strongly still compared to any standard measure. I post them on our Twitter. Tico does too. Follow at Fleet, that's Foxtrot Lima Echo Echo Tango underscore uh, Tico, Admiral Tico. So I'll show it to you here for a moment. And I thank everybody. This little angel, about 10 pounds of him now. I got him here at nine pounds. And uh, hold on, there we go. That's Admiral Tico right there. There we go. Very regal, very regal. Uh, he's at 2254. Last year this time, he had 600 followers. Go figure. Why? These are the charts. This is the stuff. No politics, no janky, jumping on anybody. But you could see what he's talking about, guys. He reads a lot. He's a ferocious reader. Uh, now, let, one of the charts I want to show you. It, not just his SQ, uh, but that's a warning, by the way, two to three months forward. Okay. So for your own good, you can get it on your phone. Just go on silence. There's no cost. We don't charge you anything. It just recharged. It saves us time for what we do here in terms of writing a big report, and we're giving it instantaneous, you know, updates. We're giving live charts. These charts are not, not I'm saying they're not streaming, no, but as we Snap it, you get it with a little commentary on it. And uh, uh, that's that's a choice you have there. But he's done really great. He went from 600 to 22. And as you know, he's a foodie. The local news paper, the Naples News, follows him. And uh, and that's the way he follows are the major uh, uh, what call chefs in the country, you know, celebrity chefs, so, including Alice Water you know, of... Uh, Chapane in, uh, I think that's called, in, uh, is it Berkeley? Is it Oakland? It's up there. It's a, it's a shishi part of town. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and also, of course, you can find it here. You can click to this and go there. Yeah. Um, let me check something here while I'm this, just want to make sure. Because if you go there, we also give you a free preview. So you can see previous issues. Uh, we, uh, for, I think uh, four weeks back. Yeah, there's a, there's a link. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so far so good. Let's go to our charts. Uh, anyhow, so his th- thinking was, I'm too close. Let me wrap this up, and then boom, that was an 80 point move. And uh, here we have 33. Uh, if you look at these, actually, it's telling you that we're not going there, going up right now. Odds are against it. Now, why? Probably another shoe has to drop. And I just don't see... Hold on. No. 
I just don't see. Uh, hold on. What is this doing now? There you go. Uh, and now with a downward move, it's it's too scary to catch it here. And you would think, as the Siamak was asking uh, this afternoon, that NVIDIA is going to come and save the day. Well, I don't know what NVIDIA missed, but if you look at the price and volume action, they're not saving anybody, not even themselves. So, so we're up there. We're above 50, above 200. McLaren Australia Trust, you're seeing the double tops. This is very bearish, as you can see. Uh, we're, we're almost same level, but a lot lower in readings. Okay, so that's wow. We have a cost coming up on CI, but of course that's daily. We'll get to weekly shortly, and you can see it here. A friend of mine was trying to try and write a trading scheme with the exponential moving averages, and I said, "Do you have a histogram?" He didn't know what that was. Then I showed him this because I want this now. I said, "Oh, we first get him some of the histogram does." Instagram allows you to zoom in on the delta between a main signal and it's a smoothing function. So you have CI and smoothing function. It's the smoothing function that's got color. Remember that. Yeah. So it just went negative. Sometimes your eyes cannot catch it. It's much easier. So this is a long period. Well, as long as it's green and up, you stay long. When it's red, you go short. And these are gradient functions. So you could see the color change. Pay attention, you could see, for example, you know, you got orange, you got yellow, red, and then slowly going to yellow and green. It's depending on the strength of the CI, it makes that reading for you. I'm sorry, CI diff, the delta. But you could see these are the days you have been long. Here's your long and probably coming to an end. Very simple thing. I mean, Tico even do this. All right, equal weighted. I'm not good at this by itself. I really like this one. Was the ratio that ratio? So, what this is going on again? This is a new indicator for us. We're watching it. Equal weighted versus market cap. This is the problem with the you know Mac Mac Seven being in there. This is equal weighted by uh, uh, by price, not by uh, um, market cap, which is outstanding shares number last price. And as you see, that ratio is that we came from an extreme. So far, what I've seen, of course. I need more data. Remember, I want to see it live. So make a prediction. I don't know what the charge is going to be. Even make that into loop back fee, uh, 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 loop back feed that tells me how better I'm forecasting it. So a little soft here, but I've noticed when we get to these lows, on the uh, we get, we're at extreme. So yeah, we had extreme there up there on the SPX. Again, we're trading the SPX and NDX, that is true. ES and NQ as their proxies. So th that was one of the lows. We got it now. Let's see what happens up here. W we don't know. We're going to go back. But I also want to do it un unknown as I experienced that. So, yeah, see, for example, this was a, this is an inversion. There was a, yeah. You know what we should do? We should invert the two. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll look into that. Yeah, okay. I'll, I always learn a few things here and there based on questions and whatever we chat and uh, catch up with. So, canaries. Uh, uh, what? Okay. Why? Well, I can forget it. Don't tell me we have an issue here, too. Yeah, okay. So, let's do this quickly, guys. I have different logins for different purposes. So, uh, let me log in back. So we can fill in the gaps. Yeah. We have several login accounts. Some of them are used for uh, 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 for the servers and the visuals. Uh, and so, uh, we to avoid too much data, even though they comp it to me, I want to. I don't want to abuse my privilege. There we go. Uh, the stuff we don't use, we tell up, you know, disconnect. Okay, we got, we need this. That's good. Look what's happening here. See, 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 Dennis, see that the stakes we give Tico, it's working, right here, it's working. Narasima, welcome, welcome, thank you. Yeah, uh, hi Gordon, how are you, sir? Good. Okay, 
I have been so um um yeah I gotta do that. Yeah, yeah I, I forgot. Okay. So long story short, we are uh coming here to the canaries. There you go. You could see here made a new high. We're not this is industrials, right? Dow, Dow Jones. Market caps or have not yet. Okay. Uh outside bar reversal. You see the dot there. And uh, transportation. We're not going to go up without transportation. They've been down two days and now sideways. Russell, we're not going to go up on uh, most of the time. Remember, now we have interest play, interest rate play. That's impacting Russell more than anything else. But you cannot, I, I can categorically say, you cannot uh, plan on NDX to go up without support from Russell. So... And, and then you see it's not making new high. So, mm -hmm. it's been up a little bit here for sure. Transformation goes with SPX, Russell goes with MDX. Okay, okay, D trenders. The difference between what the price is 50 bar, uh, 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 MA and 200 bar. No, yeah, 50 and 200, right, right. Okay, then we turn it into a, a account, if you will. So it's not really a chart, it's a, there's a word for it. It's a, a score, it's a score, right? Plus one, plus two, plus three, three negative one, or three one. Three winners, one loser, four, five, six, and seven. So we're near the highs, it's a seven one, it's a near the highs. Once it goes to eight zero and stays there, we're getting set. We're getting set for a move down. Yeah. So it probably is gonna move up a little bit more, but I don't know, it could be the disappointing um what do you call it? Fed uh, uh, a point of the Fed FOMC meeting in September. I'm telling you, quarters max most likely zero. The economy is strong, there's no question. I put gas in last night in the car, uh ninety gallons, ninety bucks. Usually used to around 70, 75. Recent has gone up. So why why the gas is high? Well, well tra summer traffic, it's Labor Day. But also um, economy. Energy is a big part of our economy. Whether we like it or not, why? Because we, we built, uh, we don't build that location that we sell. We're building overseas. We're building uh, 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 even the U.S., different states different countries from overseas and uh you know by the time it gets to us there's some form of transformation is needed also look at the um brdy okay baltic uh, uh bdry i'm sorry bdry uh, uh baltic dry index uh it's soft yeah so uh, uh it, it's still positive but it's a little soft so I, the shipping rates are beginning to drop the number of vessels they have is beginning to drop but it's still pretty strong. Remember, rate is different than who it is now, right? Rate is direction. Who it is now is a physical location to the value. Okay, fair. Into, uh, let's go to walls. Wicks went up, a little tad, but look at what the support is. If you go here, this is more than six. This is huge. That, 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 I mean, this is four. Equal amount would be five, six. This will almost do seven sigma. What would, what it mean? Close your eyes, hold your nose, and buy everything. I know it stinks, but do it. Oh, it was a thousand point drop there. And that's exactly the early afternoon of that day, Admiral Tico went in. So shouldn't you be listening to Admiral Tico? He was about uh, nine years old. I got him when he was one, uh, one, one and two months. And now he's about 10 and a half pounds. What I got was like 8.8, 8.9. It was a teeny tiny uh, skeleton. He was in a, it was in a, what do you call it? He wasn't in a loving home. He was being transferred uh, across from Alabama to here. Yes, he's a recovering Trumpkin. Yes. Uh, and then uh, got here. We signed him up with the Navy. Yeah, he was not a Navy person before. So, and, uh, uh, but he saw that. You had to buy that, this area. If you're in the chat room, you heard me. 
we're doing that. Now, did I send it to you guys? No, next day we did. Why? Too risky. You know, remember, the option is a different play than futures. We can get out of it quickly. Also, the walls are changing. You don't have a bit ass going against you. And it takes time to put things together to make sure it works and have Nancy check and all that. Plus, because once it gets to PTI securities on an auto trade basis, they're pulling that trigger. It's going to a bunch of people. I can't send some garbage up there. So, uh, uh, see, Mark, what happened? We lost, we lost you. Hey, Cash, how are you? Uh, so, one second. Let me get him over there. Okay, Cash. And let me get you there, too. So, let's go to the next chart. Okay. Remember, we moved our schedule back to what it used to be. 4 p.m. Yeah, 4 p.m. Why? I get most people there. Yeah. There's more people right there where they are. Okay, SV1 uh, and Momo. SV1 pulled back a little bit. That's understood. Between two, one and two. It's still in the channel. Plus one, plus two. When I found these channels, then I got more interested in these. Uh, the, the just volatility bands that John Bollinger had. Yeah, of course, he didn't write any rules for it, nothing. I had to develop that. I told him, I said, Johnny, I'm going to make you famous. He was laughing his head off. Young boy, young man, I was on CNBC. I said, I know. But, I'm, uh, you know, but you're not me, first of all. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and, you know, we used to hang around and have uh, chili cover and scotch. That was his favorite food. Persian food with a scotch. I said, listen, uh, you you got to explain this a little bit better. Uh, and he goes, I'm busy with running my master management company. I said, fine. But uh, I said, this is what I'm going to do. Go, you know, do I have your blessing? He goes, you're fine. Go whatever you need to do. Just ma- make sure that understood you got the idea from me. I said, no, I didn't. I got blown your bands from you on TV, but uh, it was one night I made a mistake on the inputs. And I was so tired. This was on Murder Day, right? Actually, not too far from his office. He's in uh, uh, Manhattan Beach. He's the other side of LAX. I'm just north of LAX. He's south. And I said, listen, or, or I was. He's still there. I said, listen, I come in the morning. I usually shut everything down. I didn't save nothing. I was really tired. Uh, you know, hours there were trades. I don't know how people trade out of LA. Uh, it's beyond me. But anyhow, yeah, uh, what I saw was these channels. Ones and twosies and so forth, and negative one and negative twos, like 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 here, gets in that. So I start writing a uh, just a scratch pad uh, notes on the poor call for trading it, and what that did was that uh, uh, allows me to monitor it for several days, several days become several weeks. When it got to be several months, I start talking about, hey guys, we got this thing called Sigma Channel, and it's an offshoot of the Bollinger Bands. And it goes back 400 years. Uh, not the Turks, but Ottomans. The Ottoman Empire created the, that part of statistics. So, and we call it Sigma Channel because we don't want to call it a band. We want, we want to look for a channel that's uh, that's drawing there, that's running there. Let me close this, guys. I was going to kill us. Okay. Yeah, close. All right. So, I was just showing the emails you get from PMT. Moving forward, no activity here. Uh, we, we, we're running this up in uh, uh, 52 weeks. Come on, come on, get out of here. 52 weeks high and low for the uh, uh, 52 weeks high of S&P. It says S&P, so total number could be only 500. And uh, obviously, we'll never get there. Uh, if you go back, you'll see the norms are like 140, 170 maximum. And then on the bottoms. So when you get a huge spike up, that means the bottom is coming in. Same thing there. As the spikes up, means the short is coming in. So what, what what am I trying to say? I think the market is overpriced. Yeah. And the stuff that took Tico posted on his feed, go take a look at your leisure time, you'll see. So it's not a time right now to buy stocks. It's the, right, it's the right time to decide who so you should be selling short or buying puts on them. Buying puts on them. Do not sell puts here. Your ass will be handed to you. Part of my French. Hey, that's not bad. Wait until you're at the Morgan, Morgan or Goldman desk. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You better go in there and 
Get me a flux. The language they use uses apps. And boys and girls, doesn't matter. They use at each other and through the trade. By the other side of the trade, I mean, and the, you know, this Goldman, they can drive you nuts. They pay you, they can pay you pennies, and you still take the trade. You know why? You need them tomorrow. You don't want to mess them up. Yeah, yeah. So, if you don't want to, they yell at you and hang up on you. That's not the way the culture is. Same thing with Morgan. Same thing with Morgan. Maybe less foul, more gentle, more polished, but uh, these are New York's. New York boys and their winners. So it takes a special know-how to get there. Anyhow, let's see. SP2. Oh, we've been posting this. We've been posting this. Uh, someone said, I'll pay you whatever you want just for this. I don't want anything else. I said, no. No, thank you. We have never given it out. Actually, we don't know how to give the code out because it doesn't have any uh, authentication. And nor are we planning to. So SP2... Which has got a, a mix of bag of stuff in, but a lot of volume and uh, advanced decline data is saying that uh, we should be going south. Of course, we did. We were before this crossed the, that line. Admiral Tico was, was covering his logs. And uh, that's how you book those points. Remember, we're in a hole here. Let's, let's not forget, we're in a hole. And as it turned, we put two more. Uh, so we had one loss, two winners, and then. Two big winners here on the actual trades we gave you. During the process, though, we were time and digest. We went through two gap downs. It takes guts to go that through that. And you know how steadfast he is. We held on, and look what he did. Near the top, boom, eject, eject, eject. So, and, and it was way beyond the target. Your target was that. He already made the money or printed it. He was just making sure to squeeze more out of a, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, Diamond Digest Club. So, you see a beautiful divergence there on top. New eyes, new eyes, new eyes. Mother SP2. And then comes back and fails at the, uh, what do you call it, at the uh, 75 area. And he goes to email and tells uh, James, uh, I'm sorry, uh, um, Jim Schmidt, hey, we're out. We're history, Jim. We're history. I'm sorry, I have to keep myself a little bit um, hydrated. Okay. Now, let's look at this side. We're looking at volatility spreads, okay? Right now, currently, we're in the U24. Yeah, still U24 is leading. Why? I don't know. U24. Oh, so that's September. That's right. That's right. That's okay. It's September. Absolutely. So we went back to 118 again, Nancy, on the video. In Tico, we trust. Yeah, it's just amazing. Mm, unbelievable. What would I have done without them? Okay, here we go. We drop, and this thing takes off. We're not zero yet. So we're not, we haven't seen the low yet. We will. Now, if you go back, hold on. Hold on. What? Okay, I'm sorry. There's something off here. Let me see what I've done wrong here. Preference. I have that on. Are you kidding me? There you go. As you can see, when we went down there, have you seen anything like this before? That was one of his posts, too. That post got uh, back then. I don't know what it is now. Uh, 12,000 reads. As I showed you, on his login, he only had 2,200. Now, back then, he didn't have even that. He was at probably 22 even, maybe 2,180. Went, got uh, 11,000, 12,000, something like that. So a lot of people sent it to RT that had just exploded. And all he was saying was, when was the last time you saw the, the, uh, the current month minus three months forward the spread Trading at nine. I don't remember. I don't remember. I put this together in, uh, oh, I think it was 2000, early part of 2000, 2008. Uh, as a matter of fact, last time we were watching Wall Street, uh, number two, which has to do with, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, the, the move, the, 
Bear Stearns, Bear Stearns going down. And even then you wouldn't see that. And that's how I was trying to put this together. Yeah. I had to do a presentation in New York. I went there. And on the way back, I'd messed around with uh, SP1, with SP1, uh, and uh, with this one. I had a little bit extra time left, and I went to this. It was a text from a buddy of mine at Union League, and I put this together. And then, of course, I went with a single channel on it. The inputs are what? So you had to create a spread and send the spread in, which is fine, no problem. Um, you do it in the input. What I'm trying to say is that there's no magic here. You can do it yourself. All you need is a VIX, VIX contract turned on on your login, and you can do this. But we had not seen 678. So what do you do there, especially the M? You buy the back end. Remember, these are 30 minutes. You buy the back end on the uh, something, and go, and go, and go, and go. So with this. Now where we are. Let's go here. Now we're going back up again. So... We try and retest the lows again. I don't know why, but we'll see. So keep that in mind. Most likely, if you look at those DMZ lines, most likely uh, the path of least resistance is the downside. Let me see if I can. Hold up. Okay. Is that a DMZ? Why is it not DMZ plus? Uh, we want the center line. Or is that too close? Maybe it's too close. Yeah, let me take a look. And then leave it. Yeah, yeah. If you have also DMZ plus, that gives you extra lines in there, the dash line, the center of it. We don't have room there. That's okay. All right, let's go on, guys. Treasuries did nothing today, absolutely nothing. Just trying to firm up near uh, S, uh, R, S, uh, what do you call it? Oh, no, MS2, monthly support two. This is the one support, this one. And that one's trying to stay there. So uh take your pause here. Here's the question. Which what's the next leg up leg? I think it's upside. Look at this. But the CIs are pointing. I think it's the upside, yeah. And you could see these going up slightly and then maybe the front end drop. And then you already see that on the CI. Remember, CI is gonna give you a direction. So up and down volume. Again, we, we post these and we get help both from a, uh, uh, this is this chart, I'm sorry. We get help from uh, Norseman and from, uh, there you go, this is it. Uh, Norseman and uh, Walter Diemer. You want to follow both of these guys, and you can see. They have a special account. There's a document you want to read that we're hosting for them um, through Amazon. We're not in the event here. This was the event, but you're not, there's no follow through. Now, I don't know all the rules that well. I'm just helping him. And here's the dip, dip into 80% by uh, Russell. So, Norseman is very good. Walter is the master. Walter is the master. So, I, I, I'm just lucky to be involved with him uh, in a small way, just doing a small things on my part to help out. Uh, by, by, that's again Larry. This is BPI buying power. We've seen it before. We've shown it to you many times in these webinars. We're long SMP. We're long mid caps. That's it. EMD is a mid cap futures. Uh, notice this is a daily bar. Somebody says, I want to look at this five minutes. I said, Well, you don't want to. He goes, Why? I said, Just you don't want to. And he goes, Well, I, I think I can, I can do something with it. I said, No. Just have more tea. You can't do it. You can't. This is not for a five minute bar. So stay to the close and get the bias applied next day. Put tight stop. If it doesn't, uh, uh, if it hit, hits the wall, then you hit the wall. But short of that, the stop should not be hit. Then you should be fine. So, so long, long. Excuse me. Short as good. No, no, I'm saying long again. I'm saying long is reversed. Okay. And now it's a short on NASDAQ. Yeah. Today was again another uh, tech rot. Uh, nations is the same story there. Wow. You see where it went? Yeah. I mean, there's a signal level. It's way up there. 
uh, overnight. That's where we are. Thank you, NVIDIA. Uh, now, this is a problem. That has to do with, uh, uh, it has not, it's not settled yet. The, our closing was not that. This is, includes the drop today, too. By the way, those of you with indicators, this is MBS 2.1 in the pluses. That's the center line, and that's high and low. And you could see how it resets at the end of a legal day. Update on Mike Burke. He's doing better. He's not still active yet. I, I bring that up because he's been very helpful with me. And I've learned a lot from him. Yeah, I was there in 92 on. He actually, after he joined the management team of uh, PlayStation after that, he was a sonar officer on USS Marshall. Three three nukes, uh, three nu nuclear missiles, and a nuclear, I believe nuclear propulsion. I don't think it was a, a diesel. But remember, you're in a windowless room. You're looking at sound. You're trying to figure out direction. Yeah. Very smart cookie. Uh, so, uh, don't want to do all that. Yeah, so he helped me build that MBS and Tie it down so, so, so it can get uh, a fairly accurate read on the high and lows and center line of that during the day, live, yeah. Okay, let's go to two more charts. Then I'm going to have you take your questions. Okay, uh, okay, there we go. This, this is your 50 bar. You can see what's happening here. Short term, we're rising there. Uh, it's 50 bar. I understand that. But uh, hold on, guys. Um, uh, we're still edging up slowly. We edged down slowly also on the uh, number of names above 50 bar. Uh, what I like here is that slope and color. Those two uh, uh, curves, the color and direction and slope, I like that. So we'll see. I'll see. I'll see. Um, this one, no signal. Too flat. Not every, single, every, every chart is going to give you a signal. It just doesn't work like that. Guys, uh, extremely tired, but I'll take a couple of questions. First of all, let's start with what we always do uh, with uh, our uh, market uh, cap uh, weighted uh, uh, index here. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Okay. Which is, I'm talking about this thing. Hold on. Um, let's see. Yeah, exactly. So um, there we go. Okay. And we do this throughout the day. We also, and we weren't happy to give you this. That's my problem if you have trade station. Uh, we also do a lot of this. Percent change. So CMCI holding Maco. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got a friend in that that's just getting killed. You know why? Because he plays this beta game. I keep on telling him, this stuff will kill you. He goes, oh, you complain too much. I said, no. I make money. Uh, old-fashioned way yeah and you you lose money the old-fashioned way so. <laughs> well uh some people like beta i've come to uh uh control my appetite on beta beta is good until it's not so be careful yeah but uh anyhow any my main thought usually is market caps what's what's happening with them so we can go to a couple of names. Uh, I'm extremely tired. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you guys, but let's go through a few. NVIDIA is number one. Huh? Are you serious? Huh? Wait a second. Are, are you serious? Uh, oh, that's number of shares. That's liquidity. I'm sorry. That's not market shares. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong call. Okay, Apple is first. So we go to... Uh, 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 we'll go to... Uh, swing chart by trade station, which is uh, it's a takeoff on what uh, Brian Shannon talks about, uh, uh, which is uh, a multi time frame stuff. Um, I like the way he teaches it, simple stuff. Um, he's not saying they're designing something esoteric, he doesn't have the background, that's not his forte. What his forte is to teach you how to trade. Simple stuff, nothing fancy, no. The, you know, the stocks, and I don't know if he does options or not, but he's good at stocks, yeah. And uh, he used to run the uh, Terranova's uh, 
uh, teaching academy in Denver. That's how I met him. I was there for the opening as an invitee. So, anyhow, um, I don't know. Anyhow, let's go to Apple. I want to make sure I don't fall asleep, guys. Yeah, okay. Uh, Apple, Apple, Apple. Uh, 6.53. No, that's not Apple. That's AP. Yeah. Amp, Apple, yeah. I'm tired. Sorry, guys. I'm tired big time. All right. Even though I slept well last night. Uh, okay, monthly rising. I do always a type top down. Down 2%. $2, so it's about 1%. Yeah, it just, it's not going anywhere. It's just not going anywhere. Already you see the dots. It's cautioning us. So, yeah. Here are the dots, too. And that one was impact, impactful. So this is the weekly. Yeah. Yeah, I. Uh, you could play a little bit of a, a hedge here. You could buy a little bit of puts on it. Uh, I wouldn't buy at the money or near the money. I would buy out of the money. Yeah. I would uh, uh, buy. Uh, remember, if you go up here and buy a put up here at 245, like my dear friend did. You're in the money. You don't want to do that. You buy a put below this. Let's say 226. Buy 220s. Ideally, I would probably buy 225s and sell 220s. But just to be even more conservative, buy 220s and hold it. 60 days minimum hold. And yet, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of money there. But this is the number one stock, widely held, and it's got volatility. There's no free risk. Don't, don't think you can find it. Trust me. All, 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 that's, that's what it does to all people. Very tired. Hold on. Let's go to the next one. Uh, that's a 3.4 million, uh, trillion. Okay. Next one is Microsoft. Let's do, let's do today. Let's do top five. This is Microsoft. Uh, no, that's not it. MF. No. Yeah. MSFT. Yeah, Microsoft. All right. This is Microsoft. Okay. Oh, wow. It's given up quite a bit. It's given up really quite a bit. All right. Uh, oh, we are toward a day. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, this could, this could have a lower play. We don't know. Yeah. Watch it. It may have a lower play. That is, go down in this area. Let's say a 370 area. Uh, yeah, I would go these two. Um I did this to the yearly and monthly, monthly and the weekly. Uh, probably buy a put like 400s, cover at 370, 30 points, not too shabby. You could maybe look at that, you know. Try to avoid their uh, annual uh, thing, uh, uh, MacBook thing. They get together, the, 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 they're waiting for a messiah. It's a cult. Yeah, it's a cult. Um, and so go there. I mean, um, that one well, of my friends found out the other day he can't run PlayStation on his Apple book or on his phone. And he went berserk, like, how come? I said, I told you. Apple is a graphics work. It's for art, art, artsy fartsy. It's a unique space. And as such, the, uh, the operating system is not real time. So what do I do? It's simple. Get trade. You want PlayStation? Intel chip, not AMD Intel chip at Microsoft 11 Pro. You need to have Pro on. Here's what you want to look at your machine. Why I, I get on tangent, but I'm trying to teach you something. You go here and hit about this should be Pro, not Home, and not Windows 10 anymore. Windows 10 is obsolete. You want Windows 11 Pro. His Windows 12 is coming, probably, but I'm gonna touch it. We're not we're not guinea pigs. Let somebody else be. Okay, next, uh, Nvidia, darling of many many people, until until very very recently, and we're talking uh, eighty bucks. People don't like what he says. Okay, no problem. Uh, I need to make sure I go here, Chris. Go to properties and make sure that there is, a, yeah, it says regular session. Yeah, it's not showing aftermarket. That's why there's a big difference between that 
and the plot point, 125. You go there and you go to create a 24 hour setup. Sorry, guys. Yeah, and uh, huh? no, no, huh? Sorry, guys, you go there, you hit OK, you hit OK. Boop, that's what we want to look at. 115. Oh my God. Boys and girls, 115. We could be down there tomorrow. You know what happens with that? Uh, he does not have puts. He does not have puts. You know, we didn't know because it was such a huge rally all of a sudden. But now we're below all of these. 115 down to 116. That's 160, 117. I mean, I'm looking at 106 and 95. At that point, we're going to have a, a problem. Why? 87 is 200 day. And NVIDIA is widely held. Mamma mia, as we say in Italiano. Yeah, okay, go, let's go to Google. With the, if you have a problem overseas, you got tech wreck here, and you got uh, seasonality, plus election craziness. Now, we got to fix that. Well, we will. This year, we're going to fix this craziness with elections, promise me. I promise you. Uh, and then that's what that volatility could really spike up big time. Yeah, so again, I don't know why this does this. I should not be needing to go back and change my... No, this is 24 hours. Okay, that's 24 hours. Let's save that. So we always save your work as soon as you can. Yeah, especially down here for your power. So, Google is quiet, but in harmony with that, look what's done after market. And so, Amazon, I wouldn't touch this. Maybe you want to buy some puts. You would be probably better off buying it on Qs. Why? Less picking, very liquidity, um, far more liquidity, both going in and coming out. Yeah. We have been discussing with some affiliates uh, the, poten poten the potential for having a uh, mechanism to uh, beta adjust their protection. If that gibberish means anything, it basically says you want to most likely uh, hedge your push it with the same name. Don't use the VIX. Uh, maybe you got three or four names. Use uh, 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 the Q puts, but uh, VXN alone is not going to do. Matter of fact, uh, you and Sinclair, who we live next level, next, same level in uh, uh, West Loop, he's done quite a bit of work for volatilities. And, um, and based on his work in 87 to 80, not 87, if you don't have VIX 87, um, but where the commission came after that. Uh, uh, if you look at the 2008 on, uh, those who do it Hedging with VIX, being uh, short the VIX futures, they're making, yeah. Uh, the, vision, the inefficiency, inefficiency was so high, yeah. Metal. Guys, I, I'm, I'm running out of fuel. It's 5.30. Uh, metal, metal, metal. Okay, down another six points, okay. Um, not a problem. Yep, yep. Um, yeah. This, we're at 50 bar, okay. We are about to enter... The test of fifth. I'm sorry, we had 20 bar. Test of 50 and 200. I think I think we talked about a little put as a play on metal last time, if I remember it right. And uh, what else are we gonna do here? No, we're done. We're done here. So if there's Tesla, let me put Tesla in. Okay. Oh, no deal here. No deal. Other than continuous bleeding. Other than continuous bleeding, there's no deal there. I think at this point, I'm looking at 150 as a test. Probably it's going to be a little bit higher. Let's say about 160 as a test. Do we see that here? Okay, do we see? Yes. Oh, yeah. Whoa, wow, wow. So uh, how about 180 to 170? Yeah. 180 to 170. I don't want to tell him that he's gonna puke, uh, but sometimes puking is good for you. It cleans the system. Yeah, yeah. These guys have gotten fat and uh, rich without working, and now they don't know what happened. 
Yep. Part of the problem also is the cuckoo. You know, yeah, some of the stuff he has said. Uh, you just question is should this guy be in charge of this? So we'll see. The problem is they cannot play without him. All right, any questions for me? I think I'm done with this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, let's do one more. That's eight. Yeah, this is seven. Avco. Avco is the list. I missed that. That's uh, formerly uh, Broadcom. Uh, in the name, two, four, six. Yeah, we have done eight so far. Yeah. Greg FT, my brother, used to work for him. I am not my, uh, Corey, my older, not older than me, but older of the two. Uh, I don't know if he works for him still or not, but he does a lot of freelance for other companies up and down that area. As we did, there's a microcontroller programmer. Pretty good at it. The problem is this. Uh, um, this could be a good put, too, guys. Yeah, I'd say uh, 155. I'll buy 155 puts uh, 60 days forward. And I would sell to offset the cost that I'm going in uh, over about uh, uh, 132. Uh, it, after that, it, it's running into good money. Uh, but I'll let you massage that. Okay, guys, I'm tired. I'll let you massage that. Any other questions for me? Uh, Dennis, when did we go to Culver's? <laughs> That's kidding. No. We'll do something. Uh, any other comments for me, questions? Well, I thank you all for coming. But stop spraying. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's dream. Yeah. Let's dream on. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not a crime for youngsters to have a dream, right? That's a soul saying. But this rain is always there. Then comes the sunshine. Then comes the rain. Then comes the sunshine. Uh, so, two weeks from now, we meet again. And obviously, as always, we post here. Date is 4 p.m. on, the, I'm sorry, uh, which is 2100 Zulu. That's the, the, the Greenwich time. Because we have people all over the world. Some they, some they think that's Eastern European time. No, no, no. Eastern zone of Europe. No. it's uh, That's NYC. This is Zulu. Actually, probably we should say that. 1600 NYC. 2100 Zulu, which is the Greenwich Mean Time. Not London, Greenwich Mean Time. Because yeah. it's a summer issue, summertime. Uh, don't forget, when we come back on the 4th, we got to do a little bit for those from the train station to see what, what's useful. Especially, we got to work a little bit on Dome, which is the one that uh, you enter with your keypad. Uh, not keypad, I'm sorry, it's not keypad. You enter it with your uh, mouse. Uh, this is being recorded as always. It will be posted here under, uh, as you can see, youtube.com slash Amsterdam Analytics. If you do a slash video, it comes in this order, otherwise, it comes this way, which is fine. But, uh, there's my boo boo. Uh, but you go to video, it's more, it's, re- it's based on the most recent one, okay? And uh, that's it uh, again. Don't forget. Uh, we're going to have a, our first price increase in about three years, four years on uh, PMT during uh, the start of next week. So uh, probably not not Monday, but the cutoff would be like Tuesday night or, or Wednesday, something like that. Okay. We'll send you a note. Thank you all for attending. We'll see you soon. All the best.